How you guys doing over there? You doing good? All right. This is for my 187 followers who decided to hit that subscribe button. I apologize for not coming out with content every week or every other week, but we are working on it. Um, we have went through a couple changes in the past couple weeks and everything just worked out for the better, but enough of that. Now, off to the real start of the video. I just got in two of the most craziest looking cutters ever. This tool right here is called the Taz Rougher. Oh man, just look at that. It looks absolutely dangerous and I can't wait to use it. Okay, this is a, a half inch cutter, three flute Taz Rougher from Lakeshore Carbide. This one is a half inch variable flute cutter with a five thou radius. So small that you won't even see it on your part. I guarantee you that this will leave a serious surface finish. I'm, I'm dying to test it out. So we're gonna be milling some big stuff on this one. Now, our customer that we have that we're actually gonna be testing this stuff out on, he's a little discreet, so we can't show you the part from finish to end, but we can show you in between cuts. Let's go. All right, guys, so we're gonna be running two adaptive strategies and one cleanup strategy. The Taz Ruffer is exactly what it sounds like. It's made specifically for roughing. So I got a chance to talk to Lakeshore Carbide and get some more knowledge per se on this tool. Um, instead of leaving your average 3,000, 4,000 on the wall, this tool is so aggressive and it gets right at the material. It almost has no mercy on the aluminum whatsoever. So when I spoke to Lakeshore Carbide, uh, they told me to leave 10,000s radial stock to leave and axial stock to leave. So if I'm going to come and mill out the floor using the Taz Ruffer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave 10 thou. It's the tool so aggressive that it's just best to leave as much material as possible. Personally, me, I think I'm going to leave 12 thou. I'm going to go over the recommended axial stock to leave just to, just to be safe. I mean, you, you know, if you leave a little extra material, it won't really be as big of a deal as if you didn't leave enough material. You know what I mean? Anyway, let's get started.
Now that's a cutter, baby. That's a cutter, baby. Lakeshore Carbide, half inch, three flute, made for aluminum, ZRN coated. 